Okay, we're going to do a quick experiment. I have these two DC motors and I have this steam engine. So you can see we've got a fire thing in here. And you can see that's it's not quite up to temperature, but we're nearly there. And we're going to spin up these motors and see how much voltage we get. So as soon as we're boiled, we will get on that. So we will get this off and lit. Right, that's that going. We will get our water heating up. Okay, we're going now. Voltage here. We got the motor here. So I'm just going to connect it, and we actually get quite a lot. So that was six volts there. Now, we've got no idea what the current is on that yet. However, that's enough to charge a phone if you're willing to be patient. <laughs> so, we're gonna try the other motor. So, in a minute I'll switch them over, but. When it's low on air, or steam, should I say, it's doing, it still does quite well. Okay, just got a couple of LEDs. And we are going to see if we can power some of them. There you go. So now we're going to try running them. There you go. So in a short, you can run a couple of LEDs. from a steam engine. Let's try and add another one. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I hope you can. There you go. But they're running. I'm running out of fire. We've not got long. Let's try and put one more on there. Okay, that's one more, and while well, we still got some steam. Oh, okay, there's only enough power to light the red one, actually. Right, well, that concludes this experiment. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want, there is another video uh, of me running some more steam engines like this with awesome compressed air. I will link that at the end of this video and in the description. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please consider to subscribe um, for all sorts of computer, server, and engineering stuff like this. There's quite a balance of weird things. We also do a lot of RC stuff in the summer as well, so you can look forward to some of that. Um, Thanks for watching, bye. We're up to temperature. 
So we're going to give this second motor a try. I've got a feeling this one I'm going to do as well. And you can see there, we weren't getting as high a voltage. Um, what I'm now going to do, since we know the other motor is better, is just switched over back to this one here. So there you go, 5 volts. But I am going to move into our current rating. We're going to get a current rating. So I'm currently just shorting the motor now. We're going to measure what the current is. So this is going to be a bit harder to turn, but we'll see what it does. Uh, the answer to that is it won't run. You can see how many. You can see there it wants to whenever the gear comes disconnected, but unfortunately we won't turn. So I'm going to switch over back to the other motor and we're going to see which one's better at that. See if this one will run it. Okay. So remember we're in current now. So this one's doing a lot more current, but it's even harder to turn. So, we are in fact better off with this motor.